Hello crafty people and welcome. Today I'm going to be trying out a new additive to create cells. I saw a video on YouTube, it must be like two months ago and I can't remember who did it so I'm sorry for not being able to mention you but the lady concerned used Rain-X like this one and sprayed it on top of her completed painting and all the cells popped up and I thought that would be really cool and it would also be kind of directional you could put it in areas that you wanted cells and shield areas that you didn't want cells for example so I have been waiting a couple of months for this to arrive it's here on the island we don't get a lot of rain so we didn't need a lot of rain X uh, and therefore I've ordered it from overseas and I'm going to test it with some paints I am going to use the Deco Art pouring medium and I've got three colours. Let's see. This one is burnt umber. Then I have light buttermilk and burnt sienna. Uh, and of course some white. And I think in the past I've always had a reasonable success to in flip cups when I've had a white, a light colour, a medium colour and a dark colour. So today I'm going for something kind of classic and neutral, something that should fit with any decor and we will see what happens. So I have put my Rain-X in this little, uh, oh what do you call it, spray bottle. Come on girl, get your words out today. Spray bottle, there we go. So I'm going to do a flip cup. Got all my paints mixed up 50-50 uh, with the Deco Art Pouring Medium. And I'm just going to layer them in a cup and then we'll flip. Okay, so my paints are all in the cup and it's looking really nice. There are no cells. The paint is all kind of mixed and the different colours are there and it looks a bit like a creamy cappuccino. Actually, I have creamy cappuccinos and food on the brain right now because I'm on a diet and trying to lose a few pounds. So this looks scrumptious. I could almost drink it. Okay, so there are no cells because of course we have no silicon so far. So let's do a flip cup and we will see what happens. A little bit of escaping paint there. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh my goodness. Now it looks like, oh, it's caramel and it's chocolate. Why is it when you try and lose a few pounds, everything looks like food? Wow, that is scrumptious, scrumptious, scrumptious. I don't think I've got quite enough paint now, have I? I don't know. Let's just drizzle a little bit around this, around the outsides anyway. Okay. So in terms of cells, not very much. There's a few little bits coming up through. And of course with the Deco Art Pouring Medium, you don't get the same explosion of cells that you might get with something like if you use Floetrol even without silicon. So let's tip this about a little bit and at least cover our canvas. And these cells that we do have will stretch out a little bit. Oh, it's creamy. I can almost, my mouth is watering. I can almost taste that cappuccino and maybe like a little caramel muffin or something to go with it. Ah, oh, it's torture. Too many months of overindulgence. And summer is now here and I need to get into my swimming costume and my summer wetsuit. And, uh, Let's say it's a bit on the snug side. I think my swimsuit and my wetsuit have shrunk over the winter. So I need to be doing something about that. Okay, let's bring it back the other way. Oh, it's yummy. 
So, even though um, I've not used any silicone products, any Floetrol, anything like that, I've still got some nice cells that popped up just from using this Deco Art Pouring Medium. And of course, as they've stretched out, they've become nice, juicy looking large cells. So that looks good. I like it. It looks interesting so far. I've got a little bit to cover down on this corner. I had already prepared the canvas by just uh, painting it with a, a kind of cream colour in advance so that I don't have to stress too much about completely covering the sides. Okay, so my paint is covered. I've got a couple of little bits I'll pick out. I'm just gonna wash my hands and then we'll spray. Okay, so I have my rain -X on hand. Let's test this spray bottle. Okay, it's a very light, fine spray, so I'm gonna stand well back and give it a spray from up high. Oh, now you can see my fat thighs. Darn it, I was hidden behind the table before. Okay, let's go for it. Do you know, the wind blew that almost entirely off the canvas. I just got a little bit. Let's do some more from over here. That just got this side. Oh no, it's got a fine misting. Oh, that is a very fine misting. Let's take a look at my specs. Well, I'm just getting very, very fine kind of misty cells. Maybe my spray bottle is a little bit too misty. Let's give it another go, see if I can get something a bit more. It's a very, very fine spray. Okay, let's see. Oh, I am disappointed. I am just not getting the same reactions that I saw with the other lady who was doing it and was using the rain -X spray and suddenly, you know, her painting was like, whoa, so many changes. Everything was kind of like bubbling up and selling up through and it was amazing. I've done it and there is definitely some reaction, but it's very, very slight, very slight indeed. You know, a lot less than was already there. So. It's giving it just kind of a, a light mottling. Let me bring the camera down close and you'll be able to see the results of what I got. So let's take a closer look. If you look down here, so this large uh, darker patch, this is uh, one of the areas that came up naturally. And then these other patches are all the patches that have come up for me with the rain -X. And I wouldn't really even call them cells, really. They're not that super attractive. If we look over here, you can see it's just very kind of mottled. And it's certainly an interesting effect, but it's not what you would call cells, really, as such. Maybe I'm using the wrong rain -X. I don't think so. We'll take a look at the bottle in a minute. But I'm pretty sure I ordered the right stuff. You see what I'm getting? The larger patches, um, you know, like this one and all of the things over here and uh, over here. These were all what were created naturally and it's only the little bits and pieces that were created by the rain -X. This is my bottle, Glass Water Repellent rain -X Original. So I think it's exactly the same as the lady I saw was using, but it really hasn't worked for me. I wonder if I carried on spraying a lot, it might make a difference, but in the end, I think I would add on too much. So there we go, it was an interesting experiment, but I think I'm calling for me, rain -X was a fail. Don't you find it absolutely fascinating that we all do the same thing, we use the same product, you know, assuming I'm using the same rain -X, which I appear to be, then why did her painting explode with cells? And mine just got this kind of meh mottling going on. It's really fascinating. I love all the science and the, uh, the experimentation behind acrylic pouring. So I encourage you to go out and do your own. Try a little bit of rain -X, see if it works for you or whether you get the same kind of effects that I did. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done already. And check out the description underneath the video because there's lots of useful information there, lots of links to products and places you can buy them, other places where you can follow me. And I've got a little section at the bottom for ways you can say thanks. So thank you and see you again soon.